right there. Episode 21 of Solitude and Sailing. Stick with us as we climb up the mast to retrieve the jib halyard. All right, so today is the day that we climb up this mast. I gotta go retrieve my jib halyard that's got disconnected from the, um, the roller furler over the winter, um, likely from, I don't know, all this crazy wind we have. So part of it is still way up at the top of the mast at the masthead, and um, I need to climb up the mast. I've looked at all different ways to do it, and uh, along with the sling, and um, I think it's a uh, Perkins knot, and pulling yourself up. So here's, here's the scenario, here's what we got. It's got in the mail today from Amazon. The answer. Yeah, let's see what we got. Exactly what Captain Norton. So, this is what we got. It's a rope ladder that comes with a harness. I'm ready, I'm ready. 35 feet high. I'm a little bit afraid of heights. I don't know. It's the, it's just the thought, man, it's a long way down. You know, I'm a nurse. So as a nurse, I'm thinking if you fall off of 10 feet, that's some pretty serious trauma. But if you fall off 30 feet, that's, oof, that's a, that's a tough thing. Um, so this is very dangerous what I'm about to do here. So do not try this at home. This is not a how to, um, it is very dangerous. You really need to be careful climbing up the mast. I recommend hiring somebody to do it for you. Get get a rigging guy or something. Um, but I do not, um, I, do, I am not making this video as a how-to. I'm just letting you know how I'm planning to get up there and fix my halyard. And it's really risky. If you copy what I'm doing, you're taking um, your own risks and you're doing so at your own risk. So don't copy me. This is just bas basically entertainment show you what i'm doing all right here we go let's get ready let's get ready to rumble <laughs> talk of the fears i will not be afraid i will soar above and get to the top of that mass step this is what it came with the ladder it's got some pretty strong hooks on there it's a 32 foot ladder it's a 35 foot mast got a full body harness with a clip that will clip up along the way and hey, am I finally gonna replace my my uh, windometer from um, Davis? So here we go, here we go. Let's get it together, boys and girls. Let's get it together. All right, the ladder secured. I'm gonna hoist it up now. No worries. There's nothing wrong with your volume. Just the background noise has been decreased a little bit because of all of the wind noise. The main halyard was used to raise the ladder to the top of the masthead. As you can see, it's quite a bit of wind blowing. This is regular speed. The wind is just blowing that ladder everywhere. She's up, now I'm gonna secure the base so it's not swinging around, and then we'll climb. <laughs> Here we go. Close up. Definitely don't go up your mast on a windy day. It just happens that this was my only day off to be able to get this job done before my launch next week. Here we go up the ladder. Oh, 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 it's, this is crazy. Oh, 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 so it's easy to lose your footing as you can see. And I'm just hanging on for dear life. That's abort, mission aborted. Oh no. It's like being an acrobat. I say, no way, it's way too shaky, way too shaky. It, it's like free climbing, it's like uh, being on a circus. See how it comes off of this thing? I don't like that at all, it's dangerous. I got another plan. From the mast step all the way up to the top, we're about 35 feet, which is a considerable distance. How am I gonna get up? I'm gonna climb up to where the spreaders are. I'm gonna line to secure it from the top. 
to the spreader so it's not swinging around. Try it. I secured the ladder to the main halyard and then also on the spreaders on the windward side, making it more stable. It's right there. Give me say hello to this hand. A final glance up at the windometer. Looks like it got sat on by a seagull. I am not touching that thing. Uh. That was the craziest thing. Craziest thing I ever did. Woo! Do not try this at home. But here she is. Got the halyard. We'll be back to sailing in no time. Wow. That was crazy. Here it is. The halyard. Popped off her little clip here. I don't know if you might go. Wow. Still shaking in the So I found the pin. So it used to be pinned on here. Right? Wow. Uh, one of these on, was on there, one of these little clamps here, it was on here, on this top part, and it popped off the clip. That's why the line got loose. So I gotta find the other end so I can clip it back on. Wow, I can't believe I just did that. I just climbed up that ladder and put, brought down the, the, the halyard. Whew. I do not recommend that anybody try this at home. Hire a professional. I, I could have easily fallen off. I did have the, I still got the safety harness on in case I do fall, I'm out fall precautions. But this thing worked out pretty good because I was able to clip myself on. It's like a twisty lock, clipped it on. And uh, I knew that if I slipped, it would catch me. Ooh, it's got some, it's like a bungee in boing boing. It would catch me and keep me from going all the way down. But I'll tell you what, what was I afraid of? I was afraid of what if my, what if my, um, my, my, my stanchions or something give way and and well, what if my fore stake gives way boom the mask goes backwards or my back stay but my back stay's got two connection points but that was risky if you if you need to get up on your mask I recommend hiring professional getting someone with a lift someone that's used to doing it don't try this at home this is definitely not a do it, do it yourself kind of job right so as far as this windometer I came back with it I was not going to replace that thing up there i didn't feel confident enough to sit up there with the tools i had in my pocket take down the old one it's probably the same thing i probably could have just unscrew the old one and screw this new one in but i'd have to sit up there and I would let go and I, you know I just, I just didn't feel safe doing it not today not today not this guy so what i'm gonna do with this one is um put it on my day sailor because it doesn't have one on there um and it's simple because you can just I'll secure this to the mast of the, the day sailor and then keep this in the vehicle. Uh, whenever I get to a lake or wherever I'm sailing, I can just pop it in before I raise my mast, tighten it up, and I'm good to go, you know? But as far as the kind of sailing I'm doing here, I'm not crossing the Atlantic right now. So I'm all good with, um, with just going by what I've been doing. I'll, I'll hear the wind upon my ears. And when the wind's blowing, if you turn towards the wind, as soon as you can feel it, on both of your ears the same or if you got good hearing if you can hear it on both of your ears the same then you know that's the direction the wind's coming from if it's more on this side I turn my face till I can get it equal on both sides that's the direction the wind's coming from so I adjust my sails to reach to, to, to for the wind whether I'm gonna go on a beam reach or close haul whatever you're doing but the old-school way the Vikings did it they didn't have anything like this that's how we're gonna. That's how we're gonna sail for the kind of sailing we're doing over here, from from Warwick to Newport to Bristol to Providence to to Block Island, whatever. Just we're not crossing the Atlantic right now, so it's all good. For that, I'm fine. If you notice, I don't really have much electronics here either. I got my little radio, I got my my navigation. That's it. You know, very minimal, very basic sailing. Um, the important thing, that priceless part about it, is getting out on the water, having moments of solitude and sailing, relaxing, being one with nature, and, and, and finding yourself and letting go of everything else, you know? And when you're out on the water, you could be alone or with friends, but you're out on the water, everything else is kind of like null and void, and you're just 
you're just cruising you know it's 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 the best i think it's a great way to to de-stress to add longevity longevity to your life and um brings bring peace to your life and and you know it just be at ease so I pray, I hope that you will, um, you've enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope you're, when you're out there, that you're able to have some good time sailing. We'll catch you on the water this spring, early spring. Hopefully you'll be out soon. All right, fresh winds and following seas. See you again in the next episode of Solitude and Sailing.